Hey guys, I'm out here playing around with this new uh, laser gizmo on the uh, 36 by 24 Garage Work CNC uh, chassis here. Uh, just been running a few tests. I'm trying to get this thing dialed in, and I'm not even sure what dialed in really is with this. Um, I already posted some stuff on Facebook and had some people ask me questions about sharing some information with them and I can just tell you what I know so far uh, may or may not be right I've been playing around with different heights and when I figured out that I got a pretty decent uh, burn in here or engraving in here uh, pretty consistent I uh, basically what I did is I just took a piece of scrap wood and made myself a block and I, I, I'm sticking it up under here, under my uh, Z-axis enclosure box. So when I get down to there, I know that I've got the height on uh, the laser that had been cutting pretty well. So that's all I did. I just kind of played around with the height, different feed rates. Uh, this right here where I just cut that, that's all nice and pretty right there. And I was only doing that at like five inches a minute. Uh, I've also, you know, many of you may know I use VCar Pro software and there really isn't a post processor for uh, a laser, but on the JTEC Photonics website they have a, uh, a, uh, a post processor that I guess was written by Vectric, but it's really for an XCar. And there's a couple of things I don't really like about it, but I know just enough about code to be able to go in and change some things and, and make it the way I like. Um, but I'm still uh, playing around with that. I don't know, uh, you know, like I said, I don't know about the, the feed rates and all that. Right now I'm at five inches a minute. I've got the tool set up in the, the tool database in um, VCar Pro uh, and have it set to five inches a minute, which seems to work pretty good for this. Now this is just doing an outline. Uh, you can see here earlier I was doing like these right here is just nothing more than a spacer block. I was, you know, wrote a quick program for that to uh, laser etch that profile just to just to see where I was at and that's kind of where I dial it in and then I, then I tried to do this one. But uh, somebody had asked me too about the amps. I don't really know. I've got a meter but uh, the battery's dead in it, so I don't have anything. So it's pretty much this is the way I, it, you know, it came what came this way. This is the way I got it. So I haven't really adjusted anything on that. I've basically just been kind of playing around. Uh, and just so, in case you want to know, let me drop this back down here real quick. Yeah, I've got my little block here so that it, you know, would just fit up under the edge of this, and that makes the laser looks like about two and three quarter inches from the top of the workpiece to the bottom of this uh, where the beam comes out there so I don't know if that's right or not uh, seems like I heard somebody say uh, on one of the YouTube videos I watch it's about three inches so uh, yeah that's what seems to work best for me so far but I'm still learning on this uh, just wanted to get one of these and I will talk a little bit about the uh, plate I made this mounting plate this isn't anything uh, it's just a 3 8 inch uh, HDPE I cut it on my other CNC there behind the camera and of course I matched the holes in this uh, box here so that will hold everything on and I've got the laser and I bought the, uh, the uh, fan accessory to help keep it cool and then I've got this mounted here so that it's kind of a convenient thing where if you want to take this off you can just take these four screws out and everything stays to that plate. Uh, the only thing I don't like is I used some uh, of this wire that I had and I don't know if I was supposed to get one in the kit or not. I, if I did I didn't get it but anyway I just it's a four wire thing just like what's on these stepper motors and I just used two of them to put the uh, positive and negative there and then it goes down to I use the uh, I hope you can see this in the shot I've got a uh, breakout board here 
I'll try to give a closer shot of that. Uh, so I've just got to go into that, and I really wish that I had a plug where it would just plug in here, because I think that will work on this other other piece right here. I believe that's what it's for, so maybe if I just get another connector like that, and then I can wire that. And that'll be a little bit more convenient too, so you don't have to take the little tiny screwdriver and then do those. But anyway, uh, pretty cool. I'm, I'm really happy with it. Got to make sure you wear your little safety glasses though, because the thing will really, a couple of times I turned it on real quick and forgot and didn't have those on. I'm like, oh crap, you really need to wear those things. So anyway, that's going to do it, I think, for this video. One more thing I'll mention though uh, before I get out of here is... Uh, just want to remind everybody that the CNC giveaway for that 24 by 18 demo machine, that's going to be live this Saturday at uh, 8 p.m. Uh, is on Russell Clarity's uh, Simply Wooden Creations. Uh, that's his YouTube channel, and his uh, show is called Let's Talk Shop with Russ. So it's, like I said, it's at 8 p.m. Uh, this Saturday. We'll be putting all the entries in that basket over there, spinning it around and drawing one out. And if your uh, your name is drawn and you happen to be watching live, uh, we'll uh, get in touch with you or you can get in touch with us with a comment and we'll uh, declare you the winner. So anyway, I just want to remind everybody of that. Uh, if you haven't already got your entry in, get it in by Friday before midnight Friday because that's going to be the cutoff for, uh, for the entries. Right now we've got... Uh, I don't know, 650 to 700, somewhere in there. I keep getting some all the time, so it's hard for me to keep up with an exact count. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I want to thank all my new subscribers. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.